Uh, you can see detectives blocked off a huge part of Southwest 6th Street here in Belle Glade, but mostly they're focusing their investigation on that red car there in the parking lot. Detectives say two men were in that car just before 5 p.m. when they were ambushed, shot and killed just sitting in the car. I spoke to the victim's aunt. She tells me those men knew they were going to die today. Moments after the gunfire, the scene chaotic. A crowd of more than 100 people watched as sheriff's deputies, heavily armed and in riot gear, investigated the shooting, looked for clues around that red car where the two men were shot. This is Principal Larry Clausen calling to inform you that a teacher at our school has been arrested after investigation by law enforcement. I just don't believe it. It's shocking. Our school is not really that bad. According to the police report, Brooks twice brought the student to his home on Sorrento Place in Palm Beach Gardens, where the two had sex. The first time was in September when the student snuck out to meet him in the middle of the night. The police report shows the two texted each other the next day. The 15-year-old said, we didn't get much sleep last night, LOL. Brooks replied, I wouldn't mind giving you a few more sleepless nights, LOL. More text from the police report, these showing Brooks remorseful a few days later. Packing. Taping. Okay, shipping off these boxes with love. More than 20 volunteers spent the morning preparing 1,000 care packages for our troops overseas. Our troops are serving our country, putting themselves in harm's way and keeping us safe at home. And I think it's very important that people understand freedom is not free. Volunteers filled packages with letters of encouragement, food, and essentials. Justin Jacobs will tell you music is his first love. He's been playing guitar since he was a child. And Justin Jacobs will also tell you he's dying. He has cystic fibrosis, a disease that is slowly suffocating him. But Jacobs has never let his disease stop him. He's built a few guitars in his life, but none like the one he's playing here. This one took him a year to create. It's a lot of love and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But all that love, all that blood, sweat, and tears, worth it, because this is no ordinary guitar. What Samantha didn't know was his snatching spree started that morning at the Walmart on Hypoluxo Drive in Boynton Beach, where deputies say he tried to get another woman's purse, but she fought back and he ran off to a waiting vehicle. Just 13 minutes later and a few miles away at this Publix, another woman's walking into the store when the same guy walks up, grabs her purse, and this time in the struggle, she's actually knocked to the ground. And once again, the suspect runs to a car and gets away. Amazing, speechless. <laughs> It's just, it's great. Ashley Ball could barely describe her happiness after she was picked to receive this brand new red Volkswagen Jetta. You know, it's amazing all the hundreds of videos that we got from people that are single moms hurting and struggling. And so we decided as a church family, we were going to give away four brand new 2016 Volkswagen Jettas. Ball says she's been struggling recently. She says this show of support means the world. People take for granted every little thing. You know, it's something my mom and I were discussing just the other day. People take for granted just going to the grocery stores. It started around 245 here at the Hook Chicken and Fish at Palm Beach Lakes in Tamarant. Officers recognized a stolen Dodge Charger in the drive through and approached, telling the guys inside to get out. The guys had other ideas. The car accelerated towards one of the officers in an attempt to flee. Officers fired at the car, striking one of the occupants. The car headed west on Palm Beach Lakes, but didn't get far, smashing into two cars and a pole near Australian Avenue. Police say both men in the car took off running. One went straight to a neighborhood on 13th Street, officers close behind. We get to impact our world, not only locally, but internationally. Awesome, let's go find a table. A busy morning for the Christ Fellowship Church in Palm Beach Gardens as the second annual Make a Meal for Africa event kicked off. Everyone who attended Sunday service stopped by a food packing station to make a few meals to send overseas. It's a great opportunity for my entire family to serve together. I've got Madison, who's 10, and I've got a son, 6. And... Um, just, I love being able to instill that heart of servitude in them, but also for them to have a visual picture of what it means for someone to not be able to eat and what um, that eating would look like for them.